What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yeah. Internationally renowned and worldwide syndicated. This is where it's at. Crypto Muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network. Coming to you with another video. So, let me show you guys the Crypto Muscle Network. It's where you find uh, mid levels and high yield opportunities, right? That's where you find it. If you go over here to the legacy channel i do have two channels this is for legacy platforms such as what cash effects used to be all right and so this is where you find these things but not only do i bring opportunities because platforms go through the house of cm right crypto muscle i also bring news such as what i bring with cash effects every week and let's see, what else do I bring? Entertainment, right? Because I'm not some cookie-cutter YouTuber that sits there and says, oh, yeah, let's continue to do its thing, and and uh, everything's good, right? Everything's good, everything's pumping, everything's, holy shit, this is great. And then when shit is a fan, oh, man, man, where are they at? <laughs> where is everybody out with Cash of X, man? All those people that used to talk about, what happened? Right, and I can name countless amount of platforms with countless amount of YouTubers that sit there and went, oh man, they were all about it. But then when she is a fan, where are they at now? Even to present day with current platforms, where are they at now? Right, here's an example, case in point. All right, case in point. There used to be a YouTuber out there named Matty Crypto. Oh man, he was all about cash effects. And then when she is a fan, man, he hasn't talked about a damn thing since. When shit hit the fan, when I've been on it continuously, regardless if it's good or bad. We could talk about present day. As coin market bull and max spread started having their problems, which is still having problems, were those same YouTubers, such as Marco's douchebag, dickbag, where is he at? And uh, when he used to be well, pumping that shit hard. Nothing. All right? Funny how that is. So, with me, I bring a, a complete set of everything that you need all right here on my channels. All right, I got my Telegram group as well if you want to chat it up. I mean, we're, this, this is what we're all about, all right? I'm a complete YouTuber, unlike a lot of these other guys that they only talk about when things are good. Man, come on, get real. It's a disservice that all these people do to you guys. Whereas I've been continuously bringing it ever since. I don't care if it's doing bad and I'm in it. Not in it. I don't give a shit. I'll talk about it, right? Catch of X, I chronicled everything that happened during that time. Even when withdrawals were, were pending, stacking up for weeks, right? Actually, it wasn't stacking up for weeks. I was just doing one withdrawal at a time to prove a point that the pending timeline was just stacking up on time and time and time. I mean, it was, it was going beyond three months and I was showing that in the back office before they <laughs> cut me off. All right. Suspended me. And yet all these other YouTubers, Oh yeah, they'll hit the withdrawal button. Man. One thing they don't ever tell you is they never got paid. Right. Funny how that is. If you go in, and look back in hindsight, right. One, they never got paid. Two, man, it would have been brutal for them. It would have killed their following. It would have killed their base if they were to show all those stacks of pending weekly withdrawals that some of these guys were doing. I mean, think about it. If it's three months, that's 12 withdrawals. So you're going to be seeing 12 pending withdrawals, all right? And, and beyond. I, I was showing you guys how long it was taking. And all these other YouTubers, no, man, they weren't showing jack shit. Like that douchebag on autopilot who thinks he can make $1,000 a day. He barely makes $1,000 in a month if he's lucky, right? That piece of shit was probably staring at his back office every day and Castro Vex staring at it. Man, when is this thing going to come through and pay? Because I'm, I'm stacked up, you know, 12, 14, 16 weeks of withdrawals here. And uh, my girlfriend's getting pissed, too, because, you know, I keep saying I'm pulling out all this stuff every week, and yet nothing was coming out. 
for months <laughs> and I proved it because look what happened as I showed you guys all this time that this stuff was not paying look what ended up happening they ended up not paying for the whole year and beyond I mean we're looking at nearly another half year this is May now so a year and a half still not paying and I've been showing that to you guys for the longest time I'm just saying you know this is where the buck stops is right here and I've been bringing it every time whereas all these other youtubers fell off right talking about it because it's not paying them anymore right like like that douchebag on autopilot where's he at he took down all his cash effects videos all right he took it all down because I beat the, I, I proved him wrong, all right and he got nothing to show for that's why he took down all his videos of that talking about some bullshit manifest all right that's all he's doing now which is ma barely making him nothing but see that's the thing though he doesn't tell you exactly what he's doing with manifest he might have sneaked it out one time and I caught that all right about how he put in half of his own money and the other half was won through a contest and that's why he has over fifty thousand dollars in manifest so he has kind of an obligation to do it because he got you know twenty five thousand as it from winning from a contest so he kind of has an obligation to do it he's going to do the best he can to try to pump the shit out of it which no one gives a damn about the thing about it, you're paying upwards of a couple hundred a month you're paying to get some minimal results and then you're giving back 25% performance. Get out of here, that shit. So, and even the ball headed dildos have fallen off as well because you used to have these two ball headed dickheads that sat there week after week after week posting results on their little spreadsheets and yet one fell off because he's following John's nuts, all right? And the other one started to slowly back off because doing a weekly video was a lot of work to do a weekly five minute video, all right? Just one weekly five minute video was a lot of work. Oh my gosh, holy shit. That of, uh, and I get it because it's not paying. It's not doing nothing except tracking on your spreadsheet. It is a waste of time. So I get why he's trying to dial it back. Why don't you just be truthful that way, Cash Quest, right? How about being truthful that way that, you know, you're wasting a lot of time trying to mull over and building up this little spreadsheet that it's not even worth five minutes of your time to do on YouTube every week. That's why you're dialing back to five minutes a month. So how about tell that instead? I mean, it's a better narrative than what you're trying to say right now. Oh, I could do, I only could do uh, one a month. Get out of here, this shit. All right. So where are we at status quo with Cash of X? I mean, see the tales that I tell here. And the reality bites them in the ass. And I'm just saying, I bring that shit all the time. All right? That's the problem with these guys. All these people. Where are they at? Where is everybody at? See, that's the thing. And I still bring it. Right? <laughs> here's, here's another thing, too. Clover's dumbass. All right? I introduced him at the very, very, very beginning when I first joined Cash of X. I joined Cash of X. July 2019 at the beginning of pre-launch and I went straight to Clover right away and I said hey Clover this is going to be a good opportunity you should you should jump in on this thing it's going to be good and he ignores me and come to find out you know <laughs> what a year later maybe two years later he decides to join towards the end of the payouts and then he talked about it a couple times, and I was like, man, you're a dumbass. Because I showed you this shit at least a year, maybe two years, before you decided to jump on board. But it was already too little too late. And, you know, you're, you're a part of the Tiwi train at that time. And I was like, man, you guys are a bunch of rubes. So I'm just saying, all right. I mean, the stories, man. I got, I got these stories for you guys. I'm just saying, you know, this is the stuff that happens in crypto here. And the crypto, I blur the lines of crypto and reality here of the worlds that we are in. Just saying. So uh, let's see here. Shortly after I put out my weekly video last Saturday, here comes uh, new stuff 
new content about uh, what's going on over here. All right, whoop, 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 I'm going ahead of myself here. So P2C, new content. Right, they're talking about webinars and stuff like that on P2C. All right, so there was a new webinar that started on the 1st. And they said there will be six live webinars held weekly running Monday through Saturday. Started on May 1st, all right? So that was on Monday. All right, that first started. So news from the P2C, CFX. Uh, they said that they're going to start this series. They said this opportunity to learn more about Academy P2C and interact with like-minded individuals in the community. So they're giving you access to the webinars, right? And... Uh, still pumping the shit out of it. All right, well, let me, I'm trying to see here. There's some information they put out about it here, about what was like kind of like status of everything. See, so here's a update on debit cards. They're being processed to go out to all members, 125 at a time, starting this month. An official communication for corporate will be released explaining the situation as well as transition. Grandfather payments for PTC will resume this week and commissions will go out two times per week. The first in a series of corporate webinars for PTC begins today, which is the May 1st, right? Details are emailed. So they did that and I thought they posted a summary here. I don't know if he took it down because there was a summary of what went on here. So uh, let's see here. What is this? Residual bonus. Uh, let's see, Rise of Shine, April, residual income from Daisy Global. So this guy's trying to shill Daisy Global because he knows the writing's been on the wall. Yeah, so this guy did post a summary. There was more to it with, uh, you know, this whole P2C garbage. Problem is, it doesn't address, you know, how people are going to get paid, when people are going to get paid. Yeah, debit cards going out, give, who gives a shit? Uh, let me see here. I, I don't even think it is going out. They're just putting, you know, putting it out there to quell the the fire that's going on right now. Dumpster fire. So, uh, this week's results. Look at that. That's mainnet. <laughs> uh, this week's results. There we go. 1.16% uh, for this past week. That's a shame. You know, when you think about 1.16 for the week. Even mainnet made more. Can you believe that? <laughs> Uh, and so, uh, week before, 1.18 for uh, cash effects there. So, those are the weekly results there. Track that shit on your spreadsheet. All right. <laughs> so, it's just funny how it is. So, last we talked, I gave you guys some big information about what's going on with BNB Pay. Uh, all of a sudden, they're starting to crank it back up again. Uh, when I talked about it uh, last week, right? And... Uh, you know, trying to get everybody to get, jump on to this thing now. Academy P2C garbage. I should. I don't know if they'll let me sign up for this thing because I know they suspended my Cash of X account. I mean, I could probably try to sign up and see if they'll let me in this thing. Uh, yeah, see, I don't think they'll let me do it though. Let me see here. Let's check out the Academy plans. Let's see here. Wow. $150. For a lifetime. Full of bullshit. $150 for a lifetime, huh? I think you got your grandfathered in from Cash FX, um, paying like 40 bucks or something like that. And uh, yeah, this is just crap. I wonder if they'll let me try to get in this thing. I'll take a peruse around and look around. Uh, but yeah, screw this garbage. These guys will not pay you like you think they will. All right, so don't fall for this thing. I mean, you could fall for it, but I mean, oh, that's up to you. And I'll just laugh at you guys, <laughs> you know, because uh, I've been I've been telling you guys this for a very very long time since I got out. Not in 2022. I got out in January 2021. All right, or February 2021. Not January. February 2021. All right, I put it out there. Hey, I'm not renewing this thing. I'm just going to let it cycle out. I'm done. And that's exactly what I did. And I stood by that ever since. But I still provided you the weekly bullshit, you know, that goes on with Cash of X. All I got to say is stay tuned as I'll let you guys the real news of what's going on with Cash of X. As, uh, you know, they're supposed to be migrating to this. We'll see what happens. So far, nothing.
I'll see you in the next one.